to build a $500 gaming PC part four. The motherboard's prepped and ready, and now we can put it inside the case. For the case, depending on whether you had a micro ATX motherboard or a full ATX motherboard, that's the type of case you should buy. Don't spend more than $60 on a case and make sure it has fans. We're using this case from Gomdius. It does come with fans already installed. You just want to make sure that the little standoffs inside the case line up with all the holes on the motherboard. If not, you may have to add them. Since this is a full ATX motherboard, we are going to need nine screws for the motherboard. But before you put the motherboard inside the case, if your motherboard is old enough to need an IO shield, which looks like this, you wanna make sure that you install the IO shield. Typically there are three tiny holes cut out on the IO shield. That is the bottom and you want to make sure that it's turned the correct way when you put the IO shield inside the case. Then you can gently put the motherboard inside making sure that you line up all the holes with the motherboard and the IO shield so none of the ports are covered up and then screw in all nine screws into the motherboard. The screws look like this. Do not over tighten these. They just need to be snug. Follow for part five.